Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here again. I'm giving you another video, this one on the discriminant. And hopefully you remember what the discriminant is. Uh, it's basically what's present underneath the square root sign in the quadratic formula. B squared minus 4AC. And sometimes you'll see with big D is equal to this guy. Um, and this guy's pretty special because it sort of tells us, and the way you'll see this referred to sometimes, is the nature of the roots. So the nature of the roots. So this d actually has um, three possible values, um, or three possible situations, many possible values, but either negative, zero, or positive. So let's start with d greater than zero. So if d is greater than zero, uh, the roots, well there are two of them, and they're two different roots, so they're two different roots, and they're both real. So two different real roots. And what that means for your graph is that it's going to look something like this. It can look either opening up, but you'll notice it intersects the x-axis twice in two different locations, obviously. Two different real roots, okay? So this would be number one, number two. Or it could go another way. Let me just do it in a different color here. Um, sort of like this. Another one here, another one here. So this would be a, a d greater than zero. So when you picked out your a and your c and your uh, b and your c from your quadratic a general form of your quadratic, and you did the math on it, it gave you a positive value. So positive, and your graph would look something of that nature. Now the other situation that you could have is d equal to zero. So what that means is you still have real roots, but you have two equal real roots and sometimes you hear this called a uh, you know a double root and what that looks like is if you have this situation the, the graph of the quadratic or the u-shape sort of bounces off and your vertex is right on the on the x-axis okay so y equal zero for the uh, vertex or the similar situation your vertex still on the x-axis and let's just call that positive 2 so the roots of this guy or the x-intercepts whatever is x is equal to 2 and the other root would be just the same one so it has the same root twice double root x equals 2 x equals 2 and last case is d is less than 0 so that would be um, this guy right here is going to be negative so it'll be negative. Um, and then what that means is you have two um, different imaginary roots. So they're complex. I is involved. And your graph sort of looks like this. So it doesn't touch the x-axis. There's no crossing of the x-axis here. So it can go something like this. All right. There's no crossing of the x-axis. So either one of those possibilities would be um, imaginary roots. This one, this one, this one, this one. All right, guys. So this is really what you need to know for the discriminant to answer some possible questions. So let's look at a couple of examples. So it says, a quadratic function whose vertex is negative 3, 0 and opens down. Let's just draw a sketch. So negative 3 is over this way, and 0 is just on the x-axis and opens down. So if you look at that, it looks like it goes up, bounces off, and then comes back the other side. So this would refer to a double root, or d is equal to zero. And when that occurs, you get the same root twice, and they're both equal and real. So that would actually be c. All right, you see the possibilities, real and unequal, that would be d greater than zero. Imaginary and unequal, d less than zero. All right, let's try this guy. If the graph of the quadratic function shown, which possible value uh, the discriminant for the equation? So what is the possible uh, value of the discriminant? So if you look here, there's no crossing of the x-axis. This graph does not cross the x-axis, so d must be less than 0. So this was the only number here that's less than 0. It's negative 1, so that is our answer. Uh, this is real and unequal, so d greater than 0. Same thing. 
Um, and this guy is real and equal, so it would bounce off. Alrighty, let's try one more. Actually, two more. Uh, let's actually find the discriminant of this guy. So, again, this is A, B, and C. So let's write B squared minus 4AC. That's D. So B is root 10, so it's root 10 squared minus 4, A is 2, C is negative 1, square, uh, root 10 squared is going to be 10, minus um, 4 times 2 is 8, times negative 1 is negative 8, so that's just going to be plus 8, so that's going to be 18. So my discriminant is equal to 18, which is positive, which means I'm going to have real and unequal roots. My writing is horrendous. So real and unequal roots. So your graph might look something like, because this is positive, it will open up. So I don't know exactly what the roots are. I'm just going to draw any random opening up graph kind of thing. And here it is. All right. One more. This one's a little trickier. So this one says, uh, the roots of x squared plus kx plus 9 are real and unequal. So what's that mean? Real and unequal. So if you think back, real and unequal means you have a double root, which means the discriminant is equal to 0. And if you think about it, in the quadratic formula, if you have this situation, um, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, and this whole thing is equal to 0, all you have left is negative b over 2a, which is actually your axis of symmetry. Okay, so um, anytime you have real and equal roots, your axis of symmetry gives you your solution. So um, it makes life a little bit easier for you. All right, so let's have a look at um, this guy. So again, a here is 1. B is just given a constant K, and C is 9. So B squared minus 4AC. Sometimes there's a temptation to use the quadratic formula on this guy. No, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is um, discriminant. Real and unequal. So let's see, B squared, so that's K squared minus 4. A is 1. It's 9, so that's... And we know d is 0, so that's 0. So I have k squared minus 36. So now i got to solve this guy. Um, you do not use have to use quadratic formula to solve it. You can just take 36 over to the other side. So k squared is equal to 36. Take the square root of both sides. So square root of 36 plus or minus 6. And that's my answer. So k is equal to plus or minus 6. All right. So um, we are good to go. That is it. Um, very, I don't want to call it easy concept, guys, but compared to some of the stuff that we've done this year, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, there's probably going to be three or four multiple choice, or maybe one or two, I don't know, on your public, excuse me. So good luck studying it. Any questions, let me know. I'll see you in class.